On exit 8, the Big Top Mall and Arcade was home to a silverback gorilla named Ivan. There, he used to play on display for shoppers to see. Ivan watches TV, eats bananas, and creates artwork for the owner to sell. At the mall, Ivan has two companions, Stella, a sick elephant, and Bob, a monk. Unlike Ivan, Stella remembers living in a different place, where she had plenty of space to roam freely. Therefore, she does not want to live in a mall. She'd be much happier if she lived in a zoo that has a much wider domain. When a baby elephant in Ruby comes to live with Stella, things change. Stella's illness is not getting any better, and right before she dies, she makes Ivan promise that he would take care of Ruby and get her to a better place to live freely. After Ivan witnesses the abuse Ruby is getting from the owners, he decides that they must get out of the mall and into a zoo. Using his art skills and some help from Moss custodian and his daughter, Ivan begins to paint pictures of a zoo. The custodian puts all the pictures up on a billboard right outside the mall, and it creates a lot of protest for the animal's freedom. After Ivan and Ruby and the other animals win their freedom, they are adopted by a local zoo where they can roam around in a much larger domain. Honoring Stella's wishes for a better life for Ruby, Ivan paints his way into the hearts of his readers and patrons. Although he has been conflicted throughout the novel as to who or what he is as a gorilla, he finds true meaning in his life when he champions for a better life for Ruby. Ivan teaches us that it is the interconnectedness that we share with others that shapes our identities and gives us true value to who we are. Ivan imprints in our souls the importance of words and the impact they have on us and each other. Ivan says and gives us the charge that it is never too late to be what you might have been.